Hi, uh, good afternoon. Uh, this is the uh, March 9, 2016 meeting of the Northampton License Commission. Uh, uh, Commissioner Kemp and I are here. Uh, Commissioner Real is absent. Um, the uh, meeting is being uh, audio and video recorded. Uh, at this time, I'll ask for a public comment on any item that's not on the agenda or, or someone doesn't expect to speak later. Seeing none, let me move to the first item, item number five, a violation hearing, um, a compliance check uh, in which Osaka Japanese Incorporated uh, was alleged to be in violation on February 4th of uh, serving to underage uh, persons. Uh, Chief, uh, would you like to, um, uh, charge from the police is that uh, on February 4th, um, Osaka Japanese served um, uh, minors without asking for identification. Uh, I'm just summarizing the uh, charge from the police. I'll let them describe the incident in a bit more detail. The um, procedure at a hearing like this, at a violation hearing, is to um, uh, first, to ask anybody who expects to speak to this matter just to stand up, just to be sworn. Um, anybody from the uh, licensee who expects to speak or licensee's representatives? Uh, please stand. And you uh, affirm that uh, all the information you're about to give at this hearing is uh, true to the best of your knowledge? Yes. 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 Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Um, Okay, uh, Chief, would you or the Sergeant like to uh, give a statement about what happened? Uh, hey, Sergeant, if you could just identify yourself for the record. My name is Sergeant Brian Lutzeisen, and I work for the Northampton Police Department. On February 4th, 2016, <coughs> at approximately 5 p.m., Officer Rantini, Officer Beaver, and myself, uh, we initiated a compliance check throughout the city of Northampton. With seven volunteers from the Northampton Prevention Coalition, we attempted to check <coughs> out the alcohol license uh, establishments within the city where these seven minors were, uh, would attempt to purchase alcohol without a proper identification. At 6.15, approximately 6.15 that night, Officer Beaver provided one of the volunteers with a $20 bill. He then exited the unmarked cruiser and entered Osaka Japanese Steakhouse with two other minors. <coughs> when they exited the restaurant, they explained to the officer that when they were seated, one of the males requested a Budweiser beer from the waiter, and the others ordered water. The waiter returned to the table with the unopened, uh, sorry, with the open <coughs> alcoholic beverage without ever asking for proper identification. He then left them with the un with the opened beer, returned minutes later to take their food order, and the volunteers requested the check. The waiter left again, and then returned minutes later, took the beer, and asked for the proper identification after they had already been served and could have consumed the beer. <coughs> the males provided a description to Officer Beaver. Upon completion of all the compliance checks, myself and Officer Beaver returned to Osaka with one of the males who positively identified the waiter. The waiter was identified as a Mr. Lin, who was known to customers as Eric, and he admitted to serving the males. Uh, the restaurant order was on scene as well, and he was uh, notified of the violation. That's all. Thank you, Sergeant. Uh, anything else from the department on this thing? Okay. Uh, that's the allegation of the um, uh, violation here. This time I take a statement from the licensee. So, uh, sorry, you are? Yeah, I'm Dean Z10, the owner of uh, Osaka. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so, uh, could you spell for uh, D I N G Z H I, last name Chen, C H E N. Thank you. Yeah. And um, so you're you're the you're the person referenced in the police. Um, I hear. This, um, I'm, I'm the owner. Yeah. He's the widow. Who okay. No, but the, 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 you you're also I see Mr. Zhang, right? Correct. You're yes, also. Then, <coughs> right. Oh, my that's, that's him. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you. Yeah. I just wanted to, I just wanted to make sure. So, 
you and you are the owners. The we are planning, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, and this is um, um, Mr. Uh, Lynn. Walker, yes. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, my uh, my worker uh, brought out the beer. Then I think he <coughs> did just one step uh, instead of asking <coughs> ID first, then momentarily he come back to but with a with an open beer. That's true, just like he uh, obviously said. And <coughs> he actually just got in the <coughs> uh like a month ago, and we after that we. Ask him go get the tip train everything. We have really good. Uh, the, this is what he did, and, <coughs> and we have also the. We also have the bar. You know rules and the serve. You know say that everything. You know we. After that, we get you know him to read if everything carefully. Need to you know how to do everything. That so we we improve. Yeah. 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 The, the, the <coughs> police said um, he he returned minutes later to ask for the ID. So he was yeah, lost. yeah, just like he had yeah, not yeah. done it. So yeah. That, that yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, I, I think your employee would like to speak. Yeah, may I? May yeah, I? yes, yes Sorry. please do. Um, so again, yeah. just identify yourself. <coughs> my, right name, my name is Don Lin. Okay. I'm the waiter, served the beer that night. I work okay. outside our restaurant. What happened that I guess, as the officer said, two of them sit down, I went to their table. <coughs> One of them asked me for a Budweiser. Um, I did, went to the bar and grabbed a Budweiser. I left it on the table, and I left the table, mm -hmm. which I did. Then I realized uh, I made a mistake. I haven't checked his ID yet. Mm -hmm. I immediately, about like a minute, I ran back and I asked them for uh, one of them, the person who ordered the beer, for ID. Mm -hmm. And he told me he left his ID in the car. So I told him I can serve you beer if you don't have your ID with you. Then I took the beer back, and then I went back. I said, uh, "Do you guys need anything else? Can I take your order?" And they said it's okay, and they left. I see. Yes. Okay. I did realize I didn't check the idea first, that's my mistake, but yeah. I did realize and I turned back and went back to the table and asked him for ID. Okay. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Anything else uh, you would like to add here? Uh, All right. uh, uh, Chief, anything uh, from the department? Uh, no, nothing. Yeah. Okay. All right, then um, I'll. Uh, uh, move to close the hearing. Second. Second. Okay, all in favor, aye, aye. Okay, the hearing's closed. We will now just discuss penalty. Um, let me just begin. Uh, we take uh, violations of, uh, of the uh, law prohibiting service of minors uh, very seriously. Of course, in the city, that's why one reason why these compliance checks are conducted and why we um, uh, impose sanctions from time to time on people found in violation of Chapter 138, Section 34. It's important that we check uh, uh, ages of people before serving them. I've actually never heard, uh, we, have, we have had many of these, and I've never heard of one where the, the uh, server actually went back shortly thereafter. Before, usually people get served, they leave the place, they go talk to the officer that sent them in, and then they, then they uh, find that they were served and did not uh, get asked for ID at all. This one is unusual, you realize, but slightly too late. You can't serve, as you know, of course, yeah. before checking the ID. So, but again, this is an unusual situation, so I see what you did, Mr. Lynn. Uh, Thank you. I was going back to the check. Um, so um, we, uh, I know, too, that uh, Osaka, under the current management, uh, and ownership has had no previous violations of Chapter 138, Section 34, violations of any kind under this management. So uh, saying that, I'll just ask uh, Commissioner Campidelli for his views on this uh, matter. Yeah, I, I uh, agree, as I said earlier. I've never heard or seen Osaka before, or heard of before I even started the board. So I've talked about that, so I'm pretty sure you guys 
And I note that we have uh, written rules for managing the service of everything, not just alcohol here. So um, this is um, uh, oh, this is all about alcohol. Yeah. So yeah, this this appears to be quite complete. So uh, noting that too, um, I think given the uh, um, given the uh, the seriousness of which we take violations of Chapter 138, Section 34, we will impose a sanction if found uh, uh, if we find you in violation here. But uh, first, let me take the um, uh, the vote on whether or not a violation occurred. I will make a motion that uh, the licensee um, Osaka Japanese Incorporated is a violation. Um, as specified by the NPD. Second. Okay, all those in favor then of finding a violation? Aye. Okay, now that we found that you were in violation here, um, usually in a case like this we impose a sanction, but given the um, circumstances of this case, uh, the, um, the policies you appear to have in, in effect, the fact that your server is in fact tips trained, and the fact that you have had no previous violations of this section, uh, I would uh, propose a sanction of a um, two-day suspension of the license. However, this suspension not to be served uh, unless there's another violation within the six months, in which, in which case uh, the, uh, uh, the, the threat of uh, two-day uh, suspension would be removed. So again, two-day uh, I will make a motion that we uh, impose a two-day suspension of license, uh, however, suspend the execution of that uh, for six months, barring any further violations. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, so is that is that clear to you? What's done? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And Chief, uh, do you have anything else? No, thank you. Okay, so, and thank you for uh, uh, conducting these checks. Again, uh, we uh, rely on you to uh, make sure that uh, you know, that minors aren't easily served in the city, and that appears to be the case. Uh, I keep hearing reports that you know, um, it's, it's hard to get a drink here. So, <laughs> if you're under it, so that's, that's a good thing. So, okay, thank you, Chief, and, and thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Sergeant. Thank you. Uh, we'll, we'll send a written decision to you, Mr. Graham. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Um, <laughs> I have conductor six. Application for transfer of stock and change the corporate name Hao Chen Incorporated, change to Jacob and Tina Chen, DEA Sakura, and Yi Pallet. We transfer stock from Yang Hao Chen to Yi Kiang Chen. Uh, sorry uh, if I butchered those names. And uh, who's here to speak to yes, this matter? Yeah. Okay, please uh, stand up and identify yourself for the record. Yeah. My name is uh, Li Mei Chen, and, and then he's the owner. Okay. Uh, his name? My name is Yi Kuen Chen. Okay. Right. So this is being transferred to you. Yeah, okay. to his, his Okay, place. and um, what do we have in this? Okay, I see that you have the checks made out to the ABC seats in the city of Northampton, 443 complete. Um, uh, and Mr. Um, is it Yi? Um, you have. Uh, you will be the owner and uh, also the manager of record yes. for this. And um, we have the Corey Yeah, I have to. And uh, have you had? A, have you been? Uh, 
is involved in managing the place that serves alcohol in Massachusetts before? Uh, is there is there any previous experience with running a place that serves alcohol? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay. Where was that? Oh, he, before he serviced on the Oklahoma. Oklahoma, not in Massachusetts. Yeah. Yeah. And um, he he been with the Hao Cheng for three years already. He's been with this one here. Yeah. Okay, for three years. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the um, the licensee will continue to be Jacob and Tina Chen Incorporated, correct? And you will continue to call restaurant Sakura and Vegan Power. Yeah, right. Okay. Um, anything else about anything else changing there? It's pretty much the same restaurant. Yeah, the same restaurant. Mr. Yi is the owner of record. Item number seven, application for uh, a picture license, uh, El Conquistador, uh, uh, Main Street in Florence. Hi. Uh, you, uh, oh, cool. Could you just identify yourself for the record, please? My name is Sarah Rivero. Okay, and tell us what you're planning to do up there in Florence. I was going to open a Hispanic restaurant, okay. just a takeout and delivery. Uh -huh. And I was planning to open April 4th. Okay. And um, you're not the owner of uh, a, let's see, can I do this? Somebody, Nunez. Yes, my fiance, he's here. Oh, okay. okay. Sorry, your name? Josue Nunez. Josue? Nunez. Josue Nunez, okay. And um, you'd be the manager there? Yes. Mr. Okay. Um, and we have the Board of Health with this certificate here. And I have it here. Okay, great. Okay. All right, uh, I'll make a motion then we approve the common victorial license for El Conquistador of Main Street in Florence um, uh, pending receipt of uh, what you need from the health department. Okay. Seven. Okay. 
And feed. Oh, okay, we need a feed too. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. All in favor, aye. Aye. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Item number eight, application for common vector license, Gateau Incorporated, DBA Pine Street Cafe, and Pine Street Performance. Somebody here to speak to that? I don't see him here, but I can tell you that they had, they had been in business for a while, didn't realize that they needed a common vector. Um, I sent them a letter, they applied, they're changing the name, so it's like a whole new thing, but they had all the paperwork here that they needed. It's Arnie Levinson, he's been the owner in the future. I may be able to add a little bit to that. Uh, Mr. Levinson didn't ask me to be here today. My name is Michael Weiss, um, and I've done the work. He bought out his two other partners. There were three partners um, that started the cafe initially, and uh, uh, the other two who are a husband and wife team out of East Hampton have left the business. He's bought them out, and as you can see, has a DBA. I'm not sure how familiar Mr. Levinson is uh, with the process, but I'm sure he did speak with Ms. Murphy, uh, and I'm hoping he's not waiting across the street. Oh, all right. Well, he's applied now for common vic. So, do you represent him? I do. I wasn't asked to represent him here, so okay. I wasn't aware he was on the all agenda. Right, until right, I actually saw the agenda. Right, we'll keep your comments as informal. Give us advice, whatever you guys call. It. Um, so uh, I noticed. I note that we have the, uh, the lease agreement, and we, uh, they are here for help. As, um, as proven to. Mm -hmm. I, I got verbal agreements from both. All right. From the board All right. I'm willing to uh, entertain this without the uh, uh, present. Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll grant this. We have a motion to uh, grant the application for common good license uh, for the tour event to be the Pine Street Cafe and also the Pine Street Forest. Okay, second, all in favor, aye. aye. Okay, okay. Um, item number nine, application for pledge of license, leap in, limp out, DBA, east side, well. Still kept that name. <laughs> that uh, is- The my place. Right, that's right, but actually my place said, limp in, leap out, mm -hmm. and we won't name attorneys. I will say it wasn't me that accidentally mixed it up when there was an application from the original owners, Mr. and Mrs. Yakuzo. Right. And um, they just kept it that way. So now it's leap in and limp out. It is. <laughs> okay, this is, this is like, we're deep in the weeds now. Um, okay. What is going on here, Mr. Weiss? I represent uh, DK Flynn Realty, LLC, and um, Leap In, Limp Out, Inc. I have to think before I say it each time. Um, uh, which is the business DBA uh, Eastside Grill. The LLC uh, is solely owned by Deb Flynn, who's here, and she is also the sole stockholder of the corporation. <coughs> there was a refinance that happened almost uh, a year ago, last February 17th, in 2015, 2015 rather. And uh, one of the requirements from the bank that was refinancing was a pledge of stock. And uh, uh, both the bank and myself uh, neglected to do that at that time. It came to my attention as I was uh, doing some other filing, and we are here to rectify that situation. So the, um, there's no, the license is not pledged now? The license is. There's a pledge agreement, a copy of which Which's is in the application. Second. Right, uh, right. So it's not, not from one bank to another? No, okay. no. All right, and... Um, what is it pledge of stock? Is it a pledge of license or pledge of stock? I don't the right thing. Right? Well, I believe it's a pledge, pledge of license. Pledge of license is the, is the okay. formula that you use. Is it both. Yeah, both. Yeah. So, okay, just want to make sure I was doing one. You have pledged. It's a pledge of license. license. Okay. Pledge of license. That's the terms that the bank uses. Right. Usually, that's what we get here. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, um, and the terms are uh, within normal limits. Yes. There are three outstanding notes that are affiliated with this pledge. There is uh, two notes that total one hundred sixty-five thousand dollars to the corporation. 
Then there's a note for $500,000 to the LLC, which is guaranteed by the corporation. So we wrapped them in, and I provided copies of all three notes with the application. Okay. Okay. And it's, uh, I see it's $75,000. 75, $75,000. One for 75, one for 90. Those are the original notes. And then there's the guarantor segment, which is the 500000 Okay. But all to the same Yes. 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 All for the same board G. Savings Bank, uh, subject to um, approval by the ABCC, and also to authorize us to submit Form 43 uh, regarding this transaction to the ABCC. All those in favor? Aye. Okay. Uh, all right, so you'll get something from the ABCC next, right? Yeah. Once we send this there. Mm -hmm. And you guys are wondering, you're not seeing financial records so long ago and I talked to my exactly money and said we need to send Yeah, you know what? Usually this this is this is enough, usually the financial records, unless there is apparently a problem. We probably don't need to do first. Yeah, that was my initial question when I did the filing as to whether we need the financial documentation that would normally require if we were a new entity coming in. Right. You need to submit it for the record for ABCC or for um, for the Secretary of State and other cases like right. that. For, for purposes of deliberating on this, it's worth it. There's only one case I can remember if we've ever had where we really need to look at it here. But no, no, okay. All right. Um, thank you, Attorney Weiss. Thank you. thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Um, item number 10 application for change in manager of a park. Oh, okay. yeah, sorry. They canceled. Okay. Okay. Uh, item number 11, application for change of officers, directors, MMY Associates Incorporated, DBA Zen Restaurant. Hi, so. Can I explain something before she goes that um, this is the, their impossible sale going through, and in order to put that through, they needed to get their directors current with the ABCC because it wasn't current with what the state had. So that's what this is more like a formality right here that they're doing. And then the next request will be pending. And so you are? Michelle son. You're Michelle son. It's your mother that is one of the owners, correct? Um, I am actually the owner. You're actually the owner? Yes. And your sister? Um, She's one of the directors. She's one of the directors. Yes. So um, you're, you're Michelle, and uh, Taejin's son is your father. Father, right? Okay, and you is the treasurer. Yes. Okay. You're planning to sell it? Um, it's pending. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I, I tell you, dear, you decide. It's nothing really to do with us. So this is a complete list of the directors. Yes. Um, it's actually been like this for a while, but you know, I now I guess we have to make sure everything is consistent. Okay. Do you have any questions? 
All right, I'll make a motion then to accept the application for change of officers and directors as enumerated here in the form submitted to the clerk and also to authorize us since form 43 to the ABCC uh, notings um, is changed. All those in favor? Aye. Thank you. No. Transfer MNY Assistance DBAs and Restaurant to Fortune Creative LLC. Okay. And I signed the form 434. Sign the form 43 for the change of directors as. Change of directors, okay. Then. Okay. So, uh, okay. And, Art, can just uh, explain what you're uh, doing here then with the uh, application for transfer of license? So, if I may, the director over here, uh, good afternoon. I'm Tom Reedy. I'm an attorney with Bacon Wilson over in Amherst uh, here on behalf of Fortune Creative LLC. Uh, with me this afternoon is the sole member and the proposed manager, Sheng Li Zhang. Um, we do have under an asset purchase agreement uh, the opportunity to purchase Zen from MMY Associates. We're, we have most of the things completed. We are working on a lease currently um, with the landlord to secure the site. There's a lease in existence. Um, for it runs for an additional 10 years there's talk amongst the parties of having a new lease so um, whether it's an assignment of the existing lease or a new lease with the landlord one way or another there will be uh, we will have the right to occupy that property and it's what we're looking for from you is the transfer of the wine and malt license from MMY to Fortune Creative and, and Mr. Zhang um, hopefully this evening uh, this afternoon pending uh, the submission of whatever's outstanding with that lease. Um, it's a 2,200 square foot space. We're not proposing any modifications to the interior. There may be some cosmetic or aesthetic updates to the interior, nothing structural. Uh, it's gonna remain with one entrance, two exits. Um, the alcohol is going to be stored in the basement. Um, Mr. Zhang owns a, a restaurant in Amherst, Oriental Flavor, um, which has, um, hopefully not exceeded his expectations, because hopefully you were thinking he was gonna be that successful, but it's very successful, and he would like to, in addition to that restaurant, open a new restaurant here, having the same sort of traditional Chinese cuisine, uh, and also he's going to keep the sushi that's currently served at Zen. So that, <laughs> that, that will still be the case. Um, okay, uh, so when, um so MMY would transfer uh, the license to um, Fortune, Fortune Creative, Creative. Yes. correct? And um, okay. um, I can't even submit it to the ABCC until they approve the change of directors. So once they do that, then I'll check in with the attorneys to make sure that they have everything. I'll check with Michelle. I see why this is happening. That's why. Okay, all right. So, um, so the manager, we approve this today. The manager of record would be, uh, would be, I answer this. Well, I would, until I would think the ABCC actually approves this, there's not going to be any change. Okay. Right. So you're. Because I can't submit it. Ralph told me to submit that first, and then, and then we put it all in one meeting. Right. Okay. And you will uh, give it a new DBA, Oriental Taste. Oriental Taste, correct. And we've got to go. We've got to get a common peculiar's license um, and uh, a business certificate as well. Okay. So you still have to do that. Again. Yes. Correct. We just wanted to get this process started. Uh, I think it's 39 Main Street, LLC.
questions for Mr. Reedy? Fantastic, so thank you. Okay, so, um, okay, well, um, so at some point you'll get something back from the ABCC, you'll get something saying that you'll, your change of directors is approved, we'll be able to submit this and you'll get what Absolutely. you need to do that. In the meantime, your uh, manager record will continue to be, is it you, Michelle? Okay. Until such time. Mean, yes. And uh, <laughs> we would need then a, um, you to come back for I could change a manager to us, correct? Um, I, I thought that it was noticed to be a change of manager. Okay. So, yeah. so, so once the commission wants to take this, everything's going to go through at one okay. time. Okay. All right. Okay. Then that right. If the commission wants to take another vote for the change of manager, that's yeah. fine. No, or no, we don't, no, we don't have to. I just, Perfect. Sometimes we do these things all at once in the ABCC as this case proves. You'll need a vote for the convict. Yep. Great. That, that should be fairly straightforward and easy. So. Perfect. Okay. Thanks so much. Thank okay. You. Thank you all. All right. So one from my last time. I remember. Sunrise. Fire. Okay. Yes. Thank you. So many you. Many you. I will. I'll see you soon. You're so busy. I didn't know you did this as like a second job. I know. I'm everywhere. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I should sure look about that. Anyway, application item number 13 application for short term wine and malt license, Academy Music. Uh, Allison, you are here. Okay, so you have. Uh, Events on Friday, March 25th, Thursday, April 7th, Friday, April 8th, Saturday, April 9th, Thursday, April 21st, Friday, April 22nd. These are all wine and malt. Yes. Um, and then, is anything new and different with any of these? Um, there's one thing that we didn't get on the agenda yet, which is that for our event on um, the 21st, which is our 125th anniversary fundraiser, um, we have an application now in for um, a charitable wine donation as well. So I didn't know if you want to handle that at the same time or at the end of the meeting. I don't have that license. Okay. That's fine. What's going on at 125th? This is not relevant to your case. <laughs> We're having a fundraiser for about, with a guest list of about 150 people. Open to the public. Um, is, there, is there any entertainment? Yeah, we're doing a retrospective of, of by decade of the academy over the last twelve decades, and, uh, and then having a party on stage afterwards. No Silent auction. Uh, <laughs> not like that. Right. I don't know everyone they've got trolling across, uh, tramping across the stage, but uh, yeah. All right. similar um, faces. All right, then uh, I'll make a motion to approve short-term wine and malt licenses with a fee waiver to the Academy of Music for events on Friday, March 25th, Thursday, April 7th, Friday, April 8th, Saturday, April 9th, Thursday, April 21st, and Friday, April 22nd. All in favor, aye. aye. Um, yeah. Oh, and we have an application here for uh, a retail um, a donation, a donation of uh, retail alcohol to the, uh, the charity known as the Academy of Music, the Academy of Music Incorporated. Uh, it is
Right, we have all the text material here. So you will be getting donations of the... Yes, it's just from Black Birch. They're going to come and pour themselves. For who? Black Birch. Black Birch. Okay. okay. Um, I'll make a motion then to approve the uh, uh, charitable donation of, uh, of alcoholic beverages to the American Canada Music. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Thank you. Thanks. Greater Northampton Chamber of Commerce, so I'm in the parking lot Friday, April 29th, 5 30 to 11 p.m. Your Chamber fundraising auction. I see applications here. And that uh, we need a um, fee, it seems to me, and we have the uh, insurance uh, information. It's on file. file. Okay. And serve safe things, so we just need a fee. And uh, so tell us what's going on. So this is the third year of the annual, our annual fundraiser at the, we, the East Side Grill and we put a 40 by 80 foot um, tent in the parking lot. We'll be going, which is where the majority of the event is held. We'll be going to um, the Transportation and Parking Commission for um, approval to use the parking lot later this month. And the, um, Operation, the alcohol operation is all managed by uh, the East Side Grill and their servers. Okay. And they have been in touch with the businesses nearby who were concerned last year. Okay. All right. Uh, so the uh, businesses uh, whose parking was yeah, so taken are, are all they're, they're okay with this. So we met with them um, last Friday. We offered to extend our valet parking service to include a visa employees, I mean, um, customers, and to put a poster in the restaurant telling people mm -hmm. that that's what will be happening from that night. Um, and we've also talked to, to them about other ways they can participate in that. Okay. Mr. Swan, the member of the uh, chamber? Yes. Do you have any questions for Susan? Okay. I'll make a motion to approve the application of short-term alcohol license for the greater Second, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Thank you, Thank you. Okay, I brought a check, so I'll just write it. Okay. okay. Um, application for agreement. I see. Will. That's me. Wait, no, you're not on the agenda. Okay. Number 15. Number 15. Oh, All right. Mine says Forbes Library. Yeah. Yeah. Look at mine. <laughs> I'm sorry. We've been off offering up a different agenda. You know, you set a different agenda for me. You know, I've been wondering about that for years. Yeah, okay. All right. Then, Will, you are item number 15. Oh, Jackson no. Connor, Best Buddies Fashion Show. Hey. Okay, uh, this is the same thing you've done before. So yes, indeed. So this will be your seventh year doing the Best Buddies Fashion Show. It is a fundraiser and event for Best Buddies of Western Massachusetts. We partner up with them. This year we're also going to be partnering up with uh, NAYP, the Northampton Area Young Professionals. Okay. So we're going to be doing a co-sponsored event between the three of us. Okay. Which is very and exciting. we have a... What is the Best Buddies? Best Buddies is a program, a uh, not for profit charity that connects um, students with developmental and emotional disabilities with students without, so that they can help foster lifelong partnerships and friendships. That so, when you say you're having a, uh, 
Fashion show. Fashion show. Yeah. Is it, um, so items from your store? From our store from 25 Central right downstairs and also from Ode over on Main Street. So we get the students all decked out and we put on a fashion show. Basically they come down that main grand staircase between the third and second floor of Thorns Marketplace. Yeah. We use that as our kind of unofficial and runway. From the best buddies? Yeah, they're from the Best Buddies program in the local high schools. So um, our Best Buddies coordinator talks with all the different schools that are partnered up with Best Buddies and then he gets a whole list of people together, uh, boys and girls, and we get them outfitted at the three different stores, Jackson and Conquer Ode in 25 Central. And then uh, we do hair and makeup from Salon Hurtis, and uh, we do food from Paul and Elizabeth. So we get a lot of different um, local vendors and all that. It's a really fun event. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah. Okay, uh, can the distributor Spin the same one every day. Yeah, no, I can recommend some usually it's Yankee or stuff yeah. like that. Okay. Uh do you have any further questions for, for Will? I uh, for Will. I don't. All right, uh, I'll make a motion then. We approve the application for short term uh wine and wall license for uh, Jackson Connor for April fourteenth. I say. All in favor, aye. Aye. Okay. Thanks. Thank you guys. See you. Thank, you. Thank you so much. Okay. Take care. And I'm sorry, you are actually on the official agenda. <laughs> I know it's me. We're actually I have No problem. Okay, application for short term all alcohol license from the library. On uh, April 30th, the Trustees Award Ceremony in the Coolidge Museum House for Gallery. Um, it's good that Commissioner Real is not here, she just had to uh, accuse herself anyway, so so tell us what this event is about. Um, so this is our annual presentation to uh, community members that have done uh, above and beyond volunteer service to the library and it's actually going to be presented to two trustees that are leaving our board. Okay. And it's also going to serve as a a celebration for our new elevator project that's completed because so the two trustees were very involved with the fundraising for that project. serve wine I'm sorry about that that's uh, oh really yes should I should I change that on the application that's really just our intent is to serve wine well you're not paying the fee anyway that's okay. where the difference would come in okay you uh, we just approved one for all alcohol okay okay if you changed it though if you want to serve my meetings okay <laughs> no it's just I mean, going to be seltzer or, or white wine it's probably be the two choices it will offer yeah, yeah. Well, you probably told the distributor that, so yeah. Yes, anyway, yeah. Uh, but if you change your mind, you, you can have them provide that. Uh, okay, all right, thank uh, you very much. Experience as well. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, um, item 16, that's for the 2016 meeting process for season taxes. Section about sending taxes due. Are we doing anything different? No. So when will we've already received them and some of uh, most of the inspections have done except for two of them, so I haven't had them yet. Okay. All right. And when will we uh, move to vote on the renewals? Yeah. If you could just vote now that I can. Oh yeah, to, to, for the process. Thank you. But the pick up when will we actually vote on the renewals? Oh, I was hoping that that's what this was. That's all it said in the minutes from when Mary did it, so I just went by that. Um, um, so the- Well, no, we, we'll, you just- Bring them all in. You'll bring them all in, so yeah, we have the inspections and, and the chief okay. 
or yeah, the we have the inspections for some. Am I okay to give them their licenses as soon as it, because we won't have another meeting before it? Oh, okay. That's what I'm saying. Is they'll they? Yeah, it's June 30th. Right? Yeah, they're only right. Okay. All right, but the fire department and Louis have uh, already provided me their inspections except okay. for two. Yes. Okay. But the other, they didn't need to come in. All right. All right. Well then, uh, we'll work. What the way I would do this then is just not to approve the process, but approve the issuance of renewals okay. for um, uh, for seasonal licenses expiring June thirtieth. Uh, Continue upon inspection of same taxes due. That's the motion. Second. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Is that, is that good? Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, minutes. Uh, do you see anything in the minutes you want to change? Uh, motion to approve them. We don't have any further changes. Do you have any motion? Any motion? Okay. Yeah, make a motion, sure. Okay. So, um, make a motion to approve the minutes for February, February 4th, 4th and December, and December 2nd. 2nd. Okay, second vote in favor. Aye. Aye. Okay. Aye. Um, you need to go, right? Um, no new business. We took care of that thing. Right. Did the meetings. December 2nd? Minutes? Yes. Yep. Did you yep. want to wait until Elaine's here and yep. Brian, or are we good? We're good. Okay. Says she was out. Says I was out. Oh, you were out. I'm sorry. That's okay. Yeah. Um, let's see. All right. Um, this is a long one. Okay. Oh, this is one. Some violations. All right, um, anything else we should um, do? Yeah, that's okay, move to adjourn. I'll turn right.